What's up, what's up, what's up, Facebook fam? This is your girl, Gail Crowder. And I know you guys are saying it is Thursday. What is Gail doing on Facebook, doing a Facebook Live? Well, let me just tell you. I made a post on my uh, fan page today, and it has literally went bananas on my page. And normally, I don't even address um, certain things that are posted. I don't usually put my opinion on other people's posts um, unless it's lifting someone up or, or, or edifying them or congratulating them. But um, today, my timeline has been going crazy about a post that I made. And so I want to get on here and clarify why I made the post why I am unapologetic about making the post and why I will continue to post what I need to post on my timeline to help the wives that I am called to serve around the world. And so um, if you, you're you like, Gail, I don't know what you're talking about. If you visit my timeline, this morning I made a post that says, protect your marriage from the unmarried, never been married, can't get married and can't stay married. I was talking to married people, my married women who follow me on my page that um, have co coached with me, has had consultations with me and that value my opinion. I have been doing this work for over 15 years, serving wives from around the world. I have also been, uh, a, I'm a certified coach. I am licensed in the state of Maryland. I am a master sex expert, so I know what I'm talking about. And that post was for women to wake up and realize what is going on around them and stop opening up their doors to women that don't bear fruit. And what do I mean by women that don't bear fruit? If you have a good girlfriend that can't stay in a relationship, that is always giving you her opinion, and she doesn't know what it is to be a wife or stay a wife, then that's who I am talking to. There is nothing wrong with having single friends. I have some amazing single friends, but I don't involve my single friends in my married life. Because let me just tell you, they don't understand. And we also need to learn to protect our marriages and not just be such an open door. Because if you guys was with me a couple of months ago, when I had Pastor Battle on, we talked about the side chick. The side chick studies your husband, you pour into, you, you tell her all your business and she turns around and makes it better and end up with your husband. So that's what I was talking about when I made my post. And it's no shade to single women. I used to do, uh, for, for three years, I did a, a whole workshop for three year, years and we traveled around the country doing Seal the Deal. So I have no shade for single women, but it seems as if everybody who is on my timeline having an opinion or single women and thinking that I think that every single woman is after our husbands, every single woman is trying to break up a family, every single, that is not what I was talking about. What I'm talking about is just protect your marriage, guard what you say, and be aware of what's going on. Because there is a group of women, whether they're married or single, that want to infiltrate your marriage. There are married women that go after married, uh, your, your husband, right? Because see, they don't have to have that commitment because they can hide behind, this is my husband. There are single women that only want to date married men because then they don't have to have that commitment either. They can still be single, but be, you know, hop in bed with your husband. That's what I'm talking about. And so many people have misconstrued what, misconstrued what I said. And, and what I'm saying is, this is no shade to single women, but I'm asking you women to be aware and set boundaries when it comes to dealing with women and your husband. And if you are, you have relationships with people that you continue to, you know, uh, confide in, and they have not bared good fruit in their own relationships, whether they're single or married, that's the wrong person to confide in. Because if they're not bearing good fruit, not perfect, but if they're not bearing good fruit 
why would you continue to talk to them? Because they're going to lead you astray. And I get the opportunity, like I said, to do this work every single day. And I hear women that said, I confided in so-and-so, so-and-so, and now she's hitting on my husband or she texts my husband. Or did you know my so-and-so, so-and-so went with so-and-so, so-and-so after they split up? All of these things are happening. So I just didn't make that post haphazardly. I'm asking married women to wake up, be aware, and, and not just be posting any and everything or discussing any and everything with people that don't have your best interests at heart. It's no shade to single women. It's not saying that I think every single woman wants your husband or that married people don't cheat. None of those things is what I was saying. But you should be aware and you should protect your marriage and be careful who you spill your guts to and be careful who you allow in your personal space. You, your husband or you should not have any friends of the opposite sex that you have never met, that you don't talk to and you guys don't have, you know, uh, 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 at least a cordial relationship with. I have many guy friends, but my husband has met them and vice versa because I'm not insecure and it's not about being an insecure wife either. But what I'm telling you is, uh, it's a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes in people's marriages, and they was blindsided by their good girlfriend or their so-called person that they're confiding in, and they're just going around the corner and making things better in your so-called bad marriage. And so, therefore, I just want everybody to know that I meant what I posted, I stand by it, and, and I usually, like I said, I usually don't even respond, but it has been a firestorm of women saying all of these different things, and it's not true. I did not come for, for married women. I didn't come for single women. I was just telling you to be aware of what is going on. And if you're not doing the work every single day, and you don't hear what I hear on the other end of the line, I post what I post because I want married women to understand that it is going on. And so for you single women who posted on my thing that thought that I was attacking you, that was not the case. But if the shoe fits, wear it. And if you if, if, if it's not you, then you don't have to worry about it. Amen. Can you hold classes or something in the South Carolina area? Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, everybody. Thank you guys so much for, for joining me. And literally, I was just like, I cannot believe that people are literally coming for me for a post that I made. And, and it is no shade to anybody. People who know me know my heart. I have a heart for married women. I have, I'm on the battlefield every single day. But again, it is happening and we're spilling our guts and, 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 and women are losing their husbands and, or the woman is looking you dead in your face, grinning in your face, going to lunch with you and trying to get with your husband. And it's all about setting healthy boundaries. Like I said, I have some amazing, amazing single friends. I have helped many a women get married, right? But again, you have to beware. And it's all about setting boundaries with the single women that you have. And I'm not going to discuss what's going on in my household with you because I don't want, even if, if it's not your character, I don't want to open that door where you know something about what's going on in my marriage, period, point blank. Because if you, if you're not a wife, and even if you've been a future wife, right, or you've been a wife in the past, it's still different for you. It's totally different for you. So I hope you understand what I'm saying. I hope I have cleared this up. And I hope you guys, um, hello, 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 everybody. I thank you guys so much. Um, can you hold classes in South Carolina? I answered that question, yes. And, and again, I thank you guys so much for supporting me. I thank you guys for um, loving on me, but I just wanted to come on here and clear this up because again, I, I, I had no idea that this post was going to make people go bananas over something I said, and I stick by it. You have to guard your marriage. You have to be in prayer for your marriage. And yes, do married people cheat? Yes, do single people cheat with married people? And all the all the different scenarios happen. But can you can you be an advocate to avoid it? Yes. 
And let me just tell you this. My mother, I loved her to death all the way in heaven. Let me just tell you, I had to set boundaries with my mother because my mother had been married twice, right? She didn't bear good fruit in marriage. And so she, when I came into my marriage, I came into my marriage being a boss. I came into my marriage not knowing how to submit not be a doormat, not any of those things, but everything had to be my way. And I told you guys my story, but I could not continue to go to my mother and tell my mother what was going on in my marriage because my mother was going to always take my side. And if I would have listened to my mother in that area, I would have been a statistic. But I wanted to change the scenario. So I had to look at another marriage that was bearing good fruit a marriage that was standing, a marriage that had been through some stuff that was going to say, listen, you're going to hit, hit some rough spots. You can come over here and cry, but you got to go back and do it again. Not having my mother tell me, Gail, you can pack your crap and, you know, she cuss and get yourself and bring yourself on back to Texas. Could See, that that is not what you need because my mother did not bear good fruit in her own marriage. No shade to my mother. I love her to death. She was the best mother that, that was walked this earth, and I miss her every single day. But when it came to my marriage, I had to set boundaries. When it comes to my friends, I have to set boundaries when it comes to my marriage. Yes, do I get on the phone and talk about my marriage to my husband? Do I bash my husband? Absolutely not. And I will tell you, the people that God has surrounded me with, they were like, Gail, it's you. Stop it. Get yourself together and go back. You acting like that old girl, get yourself together, go back. That's what you need in your marriage. Not your good girlfriend saying, yeah, 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 but I'm going to go around. And if you listen to what Pastor Battle said in the side chick, he told you how they calculate, they friend you, they understand what is going on so they can get your man. So that's what I was talking about when I say protect your marriage from the unmarried, never been married, can't keep a marriage or whatever else I say in that post. And I stand by it. I love you guys to pieces. Y'all can put whatever you want to put on my timeline. It's not going to change because we, we need to wake up and realize that marriage is at hand and that everybody has their own path. Everybody has their own story but you don't want to become a statistic if you can't. And I'm going to be an advocate for helping you stay married and wake up and smell the coffee. I love you guys to pieces. Have an amazing night. And again, you can post whatever you want to post. It's not going to change. I'm not going to take it down. Have a good night.